What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna do a follow-up on the S22 Ultra. Um, actually gonna be heading out to Disney today. So thought I'd do it, you know, in our typical day in the life format. So the S22 Ultra is going back to Disney. Um, main reason I wanted to actually revisit this device is because as you know, all of you guys already know, uh, One UI 5 is upon us. Now I'm still waiting on the November patch, which is supposed to refine and polish things like the animations even further uh, but until I get that we're just going to rock with what we got so let's go ahead and take a look and see how the device holds up but all of the audio that you're going to hear in this video is going to be shot using the S22 Ultra's um, built-in microphones all the video will come directly from the S22 Ultra as well this is a front-facing selfie camera uh, one of the things right off the bat that continue to make me love shooting video with Galaxy devices is the fact that you can switch between um, all the lenses, including the front facing one at 4K 30. I would love to see Samsung do this for 4K 60, but I do like being able to switch between the front facing camera button and then switch to the rear facing camera and actually show you guys what that looks like in 4K. Um, I'm still waiting for the day when we can get director's view, which is a feature I'll show off a little bit later. Um, I'm still waiting for the day where we can get that in 4K 30. Dope and really, really clean. So stay tuned. This is going to be a fun one as always. So just made it to Disney, starting off the day at Epcot. You see the globe right there, or the globe, the ball right there. Um, yeah, long story short, uh, today just gonna be focusing on kind of like my updated experience with the S22 Ultra. Um, ever since One UI 5.0 launched, um, I've had a SIM in my S22 Ultra. Now I got the, the main SIM, you know, the absolute primary daily driver, whatever I want to call it, that's in the S22 Ultra. So like I said, just wanted to really test out One UI 5 and see what it's all about. Um, kind of it, what it seems like the main goal of it all was, was uh, polish and refinement. Um, there's not a lot of like, you know, major tentpole features or, or anything like that. Um, what you find more of is like, let's polish and optimize what we already got. So we're looking at better animations, which are supposed to be, you know, even more smooth and, and even more fluid on the November patch, which I still haven't gotten yet. Samsung, work on that. Let's just get all these updates out at the same time. There are, like they've already fixed the speed, like they're getting them out quick. Just this slow rollout is kind of annoying. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's been all about, you know, real polish and refinements. Uh, things like multitasking is easier to invoke. Now you can do a two finger swipe up, you know, and it'll actually begin the multitasking, you know, kind of instance. Um, I never had an issue using like the little edge panel or anything, but I know some people wanted like an even faster way, uh, to actually go ahead and, you know, start the multitasking instance so that's dope that they brought that um also some other improvements to like good lock things of that nature so overall the name of the game really is just you know polish refinement so we're gonna go ahead and keep it going but like i said keep keep up with us follow along with us and let me know what you guys think of the quality
Pluto! So we are now leaving Epcot. Um, you know, got a lot of good camera samples, a lot of footage for you guys to take a look at. That should have already played through at this point. Um, but just some thoughts in regards to uh, the camera. So first, let's talk shutter. Uh, shutter seems to be about the same in like those peak bright lighting conditions. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. Uh, what I did notice though is in dimmer lighting situations. So where you might have say for example a little bit of a light source i took a ton of photos over in the mexico area at epcot so i'll make sure i kind of flash those on screen that way you guys can see those the shutter is actually a little bit more responsive um, and when i say a little bit it's fast enough to where i'm able to capture those shots without any type of like motion blur it's crisp all that other good stuff in lower lighting situations like dark lighting situations you're still gonna have issues with the shutter that's to be expected because there's next to no light coming in need a bigger sensor so you let in more you know kind of ambient light and things like that so that was to kind of be expected so camera still held up fantastically i still love the fact that you can use the s pen as your shutter that is still chef's kiss for when you want to get those selfies you know you got to hold out your arm really far to get more people you know in your shot and in, in, in um in your scene so really really loving that now i want to switch gears and talk zoom because if you're copping an s22 ultra you gotta test out the zoom i'm so tired of hearing people say that zoom and and being able you know like i said to zoom in really far is 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 like a gimmick or it's just not needed or it's not necessary Take a look at some of the shots that I took from the distances that I took them from. Having zoom on a smartphone really feels like you kind of complete that all encompassing situation. Say for example, you go to a concert or you go to like a show, right? Maybe you want to zoom in to get that, that extra crisp shot of your favorite artist. Or if you go like to a basketball game or a football game, you want to get that extra crisp shot, you know, of the field or of the court. So zoom, definitely not overrated. All manufacturers should focus on Zoom just as hard as Samsung does. And for the most part, all the major players are either like heavily focused on Zoom or it's coming in their next iteration. So great job, Samsung. I still think in terms of overall, Samsung still has the best Zoom on any camera. Front facing camera as well. I think that Samsung's is probably the best on the market as well. Just from a crisp uh, perspective, um, I'm not sure if it's the megapixel count or they're just processing photos better, but front facing camera, Absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, now we're gonna actually go ahead and pick up something to eat. Gonna go grab some ramen. So come along with your boy, let's eat. I wanted to touch bases last time touching bases with you all so pretty much just went out had some ramen sorry forgot to take a picture of my food because i was way too hungry <laughs> and couldn't contain myself so i'm sorry about that but it was fantastic i did take a couple shots of like the menu and things like that so it turned out awesome great ramen spot called zoro ramen over here in, Kiss in kissimmee by the park so super super dope day with the s22 ultra i'm actually about to go ahead and hop over to hollywood studios have some more fun uh, but just wanted to give kind of like some closing thoughts on where the s22 is currently you know kind of versus where it was when it came out it was already a competitor for you know crown of smartphone of the year or whatever the case may be and i think with more and more updates 
and you know more and more optimization and things like that samsung's just kind of you know continued that sentiment i think the s22 ultra is definitely one of the best phones right now available on the market that's here in the u.s that's even including you know import devices and overseas devices samsung has here kind of like the jack of all trades but maybe not necessarily master of everyone so it's a phone that can do everything great you get a ton of great customization and great features you get good performing software you get a great display probably the best display on the market in all honesty uh, but best display um, you know cameras that are definitely up to par and definitely versatile it kind of fits the whole package in and then you throw in that S Pen to kind of sweeten the deal so I'm a fan. S22 Ultra is an absolute monster. Um, being 100% honest, if Samsung continues to polish out those animations, get rid of that lag in the shutter area, I could 100%, you know, see myself switching full time to say like an S23 Ultra or something like that. Um, if I'm being honest, I could even switch to this, the S22 Ultra right now in its current state without that November patch to kind of sweeten the deal. I can switch to this right now and be totally happy and satisfied. So S22 Ultra, big thumbs up for me. Thanks so much as always for watching. This is Ike's Tech Talk. I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.